So today we are going to do differential protection of transformer and the bus bar. And I'm assuming that you already know that what is differential protection. So we will begin with um, opening the already built project, which is IEEE 4 bus system. And the general practice is making the copy of the original folder and then using it. So I have already copied the IEEE 4 bus system here and I will be using it. So first of all, let's switch, maximize the window and switch to the edit mode and uh, give values to this date. The short circuit value and I guess the x by r ratio. Okay, these are the random values. You can make any any value, any practical value. Okay, and then we are going to do the differential protection of the transformer first. So we are making one point protect protective devices. So in differential protection, we need to isolate the faulty equipment. So for that, we will add high voltage circuit breakers on either side. And uh, just moving the ID above it to avoid confusion. You can just drag and drop the IDs. And then I'm going to place uh, the current transformers. So maybe the current of in and out of the transformer. Now connect it to the 87, which is the French delivery. And we the connection of differential relay to the CT state time. I don't know why is that when the CT does. And it will take time. It is taking forever. to the venture relay, adjust it here, and now we will do the low flow analysis, not the primary and secondary current, normal low flow currents. So we do low flow. <coughs> and um, I want to know the current. So I can change the settings there and I'll select the end there, show units. Okay. So on the primary side I've got 335.8 amperes and on the secondary side it's almost 110 amperes, right? So what I do is again switch to edit mode and okay, sorry. Again switch to edit mode. And uh, I will select the rating of this one. As I had 235 amperes in my primary, so I would uh, round this off to 340, 340, because so of overload conditions. And usually it is 25%, but I'm just rounding it off to the higher 10 value. And the second rating is 5. I'm going to put it on here and just change this out. And I'm selecting the class of this CTSD2. You can just do OK here, and here I'm going to do the same. I had the current for 1006, and I would round it off to 1010, and I would select 
B2 as a class for the CP. And, uh, and I will have to do this at one different serial list. First, I'm going to collect and, and click on this DIF. And from my library, I would select the relay that has got a function of the French in it. So one more relay that is RET54C that has got the French function in it. And uh, I don't want overgrown production, so I would deselect it. So I'm deselecting it and from output I will add the circuit breaker that I would want to trip. This is circuit breaker one and then circuit breaker two. And the other thing is from the input I would select CT1 and CT2. Right? These are the two modes of the eventual relay. Now I would simulate a fault in this transformer. This is to be done from this is our protected device coordinator. I simulate a fault here. And these two should trip. And these circuit breakers are tripping. So that is how we do the differential protection of the transformer. Now again switch to edit mode and we're going to do the differential protection of a bus bus flag. So I'm selecting bus one. So I'll make some name here. And okay. Second because to isolate the bus on either side. <clears throat> No, in the ID just above it, so it's confusing. And then two CTs. And a different generator, that is CT7. And I can do two CTs. And then <coughs> two analysis for the rating. Most analysis, which is got two thirty five on either side. So I'm going to switch to edit mode and select the rating as 240. First five, B2 class. And here again. Okay, and this class B2. And <clears throat> now DIF, library. Selecting the differential function RET543. RET543. Okay. And then from OCR, deselecting the overcurrent function. And then in the output, add the new circuit breaker that are circuit breaker 3 and circuit breaker 4. And you want to open it. On the description of fault and selecting the B2 terminal says inputs. Okay, and now we would simulate the fault on the bus. So, it's our uh, protective device coordination. Simulate the fault on the bus. And here it is it's dripping. The circuit breaker is dripping, and this is the differential protection of a bus. So, this sum up. Uh, the differential protection of transformer and the bus bar. Hope it was easy.